guys, a million card tricks here. So I actually meant to release this video a couple of weeks ago, but there were just some logistical things holding me back. But I'm very, very happy to be showing you guys this video today because if you remember, I actually did a similar video to this a few months ago. I performed a card trick in front of my school for a talent show, and that was last year. And this year we had the exact same thing once again. So I did another card trick and it completely amazed everyone and it was just so much fun to do. So anyways, guys, enjoy my high school card trick performance. I've been doing magic for about uh, four years now, and it's really become a strong passion of mine. I really love to perform card tricks for people, so I'm going to show you guys exactly that tonight. And uh, let's start out with a little bit of a warm up here. Let's do this. Uh, let's have anyone just name out any card in the entire deck. Just go. Ace of spades. Ace of spades. I heard. Let's ace of diamonds, ace of spades. Ace of spades. <laughs> That would have been pretty cool, right? But it's not. <laughs> it's not the card. I mean, if you really think about it, that trick, it's, it's sort of just like a 1 in 52 chance. And yeah, if, if you really think about it, that's sort of like how every card trick is. Because like, if the magician just spreads through the cards, like, as you pick a card, lose it back in the deck, and the, magician, the magician's like, all right, I'm going to find it now. And it's really just a 1 in 52 chance. That's why I think it's kind of weird when people are like, oh, I'm going to show you guys an impossible trick. Well, it's not impossible, it's just that the odds are very slim. Um, but that's why tonight I'm going to be showing you a trick where those odds have nothing to do with the trick. And instead of showing you a trick where like I do the magic, I'm going to show you a trick where the cards themselves do the magic. And specifically actually we're going to be using four special cards. Four aces. Now why are the aces so special? Is it because they're good for poker? Well, that could be one reason, but I think there is actually a deeper meaning for why people put the aces in such a high place. So we're actually going to uncover that meaning tonight. So um, I actually need one volunteer to help me. So I'm going yes. to get someone from maybe like the front row, front two rows or so. Uh, how about you over here? Let's let's get you on stage. Everyone, give it up. meet you. All right, so over here, Kayla, we have the four aces, okay? Now some people think, oh, he's using some kind of like weird card or something. So um, I'm going to have you just examine those aces, all right? Just make sure they're normal and like put them in the uh, camera here so that you guys can see, right? Perfect, right? Awesome. Okay, so uh, what's going to happen next is we're, we're going to be using some cards. So I, I really don't want to like influence your choice in any way. I want you to just name like any number that you want between 1 and 52. And like I said, I'm going to have absolutely no influence over your choice. So go ahead and just name any number. 40. Uh, 12? Okay, that's fine. So we can use 3, <laughs> 6, uh, 9, and 12. Okay, yeah, that's, that's perfect. And we actually don't need the rest of the cards. So these 12 cards here, they're all, they're all just normal random shuffle cards. It really does not matter what these are. So you examine the aces, right? Here they are, right? All normal. Perfect. So what's going to happen is this, um, we are going to be setting the aces down on the table, one at a time. Now, do you, are you like familiar with cards at all? Like at all? Uh, sort of. Do you know like which ace is like the most popular one? Ace of spades, that is exactly right. So the ace of spades is the most popular one, and we are actually going to be using the ace of spades in a special place. So we're going to put it over here, off to the side. God, I cannot see anything. All right, so there it is, over there. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that. And here we have the other three aces. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna be taking these 12 cards here, um, and we're gonna be placing three random cards on top of each ace. And Kayla, can you do me a favor? Place your hand on top of the ace of spades and those three random cards there, and just keep it there. Make sure I don't touch them. That's all you have to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight I'm gonna show you a little taste of good old-fashioned magic. All right, let's go. Just focus on the aces.